Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Cadillac Driven. We're back with another video, and this time it's going to be for the Cadillac CT6. We got the diamond car mask that we ordered. Remember, we were going to mod out the Cadillac CT6. We were going to buy rims and a whole bunch of other stuff. But then I got a phone call right after I ordered the diamond car mask, and it was on its way. The people called me and said, hey, you can order the all-wheel drive Cadillac Lyric. But by that time, the diamond car mask was on its way. So when it got here, I thought, go ahead, do a review on it. You're going to live with this Cadillac for another six, seven, maybe even eight months. So today, we're going to go ahead, we're going to do a review on it. These diamond car mats will not hit snow. With that being said, let's get started with this review. All right, you all, let's check out these custom car mats. These are diamond car mats. I'm going to leave the link in the description box down below for you guys to go check these out. Now, if this is too expensive for you, they do have a 20% coupon code that I'm going to leave in the description box down below. Also, I'm going to leave another link to Amazon.com because they do have some cheaper ones there as well. And if you buy from there, you will be supporting the channel. That is my affiliate link. Now, this black and red. I went with black and red simply because uh, I wanted to do a red thing instead of a blue now blue is my favorite color but red seems to set everything off inside of a cabin so i think you see where i went with the red key fob the red engine stop start that's going to help to set this off okay my interior is black my exterior is black so again it makes sense to go with this black and red now they have different colors they have blue they have orange they have black and white uh, they have just about the colors you're looking for for your particular car. So the links are in the description box down below. As you can see, I've already took out the mats, the old mats in the car. We're not going to throw them away because we got to give this car back to the dealership when we pick up the Cadillac Lyric. All right, with that being said, let's get started with this install. All right, you all, it was easier for me to go ahead and put it in, and then I could show you how I actually did it. Now, when you get it, this is going to be kind of bowed down. All you do is just flip it up, and it's going to go against the side wall right here. As you can see, it goes past the pedals. It fits perfectly. It goes all the way up, and even on the side, right? It looks really nice. Now, these little tabs that you see here, they have these things that help them to stay in place. So they just slide right under, just adjust them to where they fit, like here, and make it fit perfectly where the track is right there, right? So therefore, your seat doesn't hit it. So looking at it, it looks actually really nice. Now, even here, right, I have uh, Velcro that I can put here to make this stay. Uh, it's going to be in here. This is what it looks like. That makes it stick. And then I have extra clips. Like for right here, I can make this go back and it stay perfectly, give it a better look. So you do get enough clips to make this work both front and back. But how does it look so far, you all? I think it looks nice. Has a little bit more elegance to the cabin. And with that being said, let's go ahead, let's do the passenger side. Okay, I didn't show you with the driver's side, right? But the driver's side, you're going to do just like I'm going to show you with the passenger side. Just flip it up. And that's it. And it's ready to slide in. That's it. That's all for the passenger and the driver's side. Okay? This also flips up. Got it? All right, you all. We got the passenger side done. It's looking good. Now, this one has a slight hump. So, it was made for the hump, as you can see. From here, how it's made, and it goes along the side further enough because the seat is going to come up. So you're not going to see this part, which is cool. And then you have a tag here that's holding this in place. This seems okay. I'm going to see uh, after my wife sits in here several times and she barely gets in here. Now, this is the wide end that I showed you. had that little tag right up under there. And that'll let you know that that goes on that side. It seems to fit snug over here, even on the side. It seems like it's perfect, right? It moves a little bit, but that's okay. You still have these clips that's right here that's going to hold it in place. So this is looking good thus far. Now, another thing, make sure you adjust this. That means you need to probably push this back a little bit. So therefore, this isn't on top of the track, just in case somebody gets in and they push the seat all the way up. You don't want 
uh, any trouble with that. So this here will stay here as long as you got this clip in, this clip here. If you want to put another one here, that'll help to hold it in place as well. But it seems to be made perfect. This is going to be up under the seat, so you're not going to have to worry about this at all. Okay, so that's the passenger side. Let's go ahead. Let's get this rear seat done. All right, you all, this is it. This is it. Now, I love this deep red. It shows out really, really nice. And it's, it's beautiful. I like it. But we do have a small issue with the rear. Okay, now, starting here, this here comes here. I, I don't know how that would fit or how it should look, but this is not a deal breaker. But I took the rest of it and I tucked it under so it just wouldn't sit up. And that works for me. This doesn't seem like it's going anywhere because the way you get in the car, um, you slide right over. So that's not a big deal uh, at all. But let's go over to the other side and take a look at the issue over there. All right, you all. Now, the issue here is that if you look at it, it's different, right? It doesn't come all the way up like on the other side. This is not a deal breaker. It seems to stay right where it's at. I put another clip here. They only give you a few clips. I don't know if you can buy any more. And this is how far back it goes. Now, if you want to clamp it, there's a, a piece right here, like to a rug, that you can clamp that to. But why? Because it's not going to hit anything as the seat comes back. And then this is the way it looks on the side. Over here, I did the same thing. I tucked it under, kind of. But it's not a deal breaker. Not at all. Not bad. I like the look. All right, you guys, the overview. I love the mats. I love the deep red that's in the mats as well. These are gonna be easy to clean. All you simply gotta do is get a damp rag and just wipe it off. Or you can go ahead and you can vacuum it out as well. This is weather, weather resistant. Now, these are gonna cost $170 on diamond.carmats.com. Again, I'm gonna leave a link to the Amazon store, uh, which is my affiliate link. Uh, they have some cheaper ones there if this is a little bit too pricey for you. All right, you guys, thanks for watching the video all the way through to the end. I appreciate it. Hit that like button, smash the notification bell. Remember, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you all again at the next video. Enjoy life, have some fun, and remember to remember to please be safe.